So, hi, my name is Gabe, here's Abdullah, and there is Jason. So, we have built a powerful weather station. Now, how many people here have allergies? A lot of us, right? So, in 2012, 17 million adults suffered from hay fever, allergies. And we also have 6.6 .6 million children also suffered from allergies. So, there you go. And also another issue, another big issue is smog. Um, pollution in the air, um, especially in China, is causing cancer and other bad diseases. So, our hack, yeah. our hack is a portable weather station that utilizes sensors. We use the Intel Edison. On the Intel Edison, we have uh, temperature probes, we have a dust and particulate sensor, um, we have air quality sensors which will measure carbon dioxide, alcohol, acetone, um, um, thinners, and formaldehydes. Uh, we also have a UV sensor so that you can tell you if you need to put your sunblock or anything like that. Um, and then we use, we, we take all this data and we send it to IBM Bluemix. Um, and from there, we use Node-RED to send it to Twilio. So um, you can get your information on the go. And there's also a GPS sensor built right in. So you don't even need to set where you are. You don't need your phone. This is a all. This is a embedded system, and that and you don't need anything else to set this up. So looking looking ahead. So the Intel Edison is pretty big. Um, moving forward, when we finalize this product. The Intel Edison is actually just this chip right here. And you can potentially fit all of the sensors and everything into something the size of an Altois tin. And we can open this data to the public. So if we have a lot of people who have this product, you can have a hyper-local weather. Because right now, if you get the weather app on your phone, you, you will get the temperature in JFK or Central Park. That's where your local, data, your local weather station is. And that's pretty far from here. So this will tell you much more accurate temperatures. It'll get you UV, uh, UVs, um, I'm sorry, uh, UV rays, and it'll also tell you about the um, the pollution in your area. And it is a very low power device at five volts, or can even run on 3.3 volts. So it need it doesn't need that big of a battery. So on to the demo. So the screen on here is pretty small, so what I've done is I've taken pictures of it so that I can show you guys. So this is what it looks like when you run it. I will run this program again, and then I will get a text. You can see this turns on, turns off and it lights back on. And on my iPad, I just got a text. And because my iPad is small as well, that's what it looks like. So it gets all of this data and it sends it to you, um, and yeah. Questions? Comments? Smart remarks? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so think, looking forward to this, what kind of price would you think? About? So the Intel Edison, the chip itself is about $50. Um, the, all of the sensors combined with, are probably about $30, the GPS being the most expensive part of it. So if, if we can pair this to phones, uh, we can say that $30, it'll only cost about, the sensor would be $10 and change or so. So that's one thing to look forward to. Thanks. Yep. Go ahead. So at the moment, you get a text from your portal wireless station to your phone number. Yes. And um, if you had this being a distributed set of things, you're pulling all the information in one place, that's a next step, that's the next thing you'd have to build. How would that uh, be hooked up? How would I do that? So we can utilize Bluemix. They have a IoT. Um, they have an IoT module so that you can just have all of your Internet of Things devices uh, give its data to it, and it makes it really easy for you to get that data, and then you can work with that data and display it in a in a better way. <laughs> yeah. Any more questions? Great. Thank you very much.